Hey there, it's John from Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to create Power Query connections to all of the tables in your workbook in less than one second. So for this, we're going to use a macro, and if you saw my previous video on how to combine tables with Power Query, I gave a preview of this macro. So in this video, I'm just going to walk through the macro and explain how to implement it in your own workbooks and in your own processes. So typically when we do this process manually, uh, we select a cell inside the table, then go to the data or Power Query tab in the ribbon, then choose from table, that'll open the Power Query editor, then we'll click the bottom half of the close and load button, click close and load to, and finally we'll get to this window here, import data, and we'll choose only create connection, and then hit OK. And that'll just create the uh, connection in Power Query to this table. And then we can use that for the append or merge features in Power Query. Now, if your workbook has a lot of tables in it, like this one does here, maybe you have dozens or even hundreds of tables in your workbook, that manual process can take a lot of time. So I've automated that with a macro. And I'll first run the macro, show you how it works, and then we'll step through the code. So here in this workbook, I have uh, nine tables on different sheets. And to run the macro, I've added this to a custom macro ribbon here and added a macro button that'll run the macro, stored in my personal macro workbook. And I'll explain more about that. But I'll just click the button. That'll bring up this window, just asking me if I want to run the macro. I'll go ahead and say yes. I'll then get another prompt to ask me if I want to add the data to the data model. Uh, that's that checkbox there on the import window. In this case, I'm just going to say no. That will go ahead and loop through all the tables in the workbook, create connections for each of those. And as you can see, that happened, those eight connections happened in 0.6 seconds. So less than one second, all of our connections were created. We can also see that over here in the queries and connections pane. If you don't have this turned on and you run the macro and it's not there, uh, you can go to the data tab on the ribbon and turn the queries and connections pane on and off from that button. So let's jump over to the VB editor and I'll explain the macro code. Uh, keyboard shortcut is Alt F11. We're gonna go to the developer tab, click the visual basic button to open the VB editor. And here's my macro, it's in this file here, and I'll make this file available for free download. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. And you can just double click the module to see the macro code. And of course this creates uh, the connection only queries to all of the tables in the active workbook. So that's important, it runs on the active workbook. If you want to run it on a specific workbook, you can of course change that in the code down here, but if you put it in your personal macro workbook, then it's just going to run on the workbook that you're currently using, that you currently see, and it's the active workbook. Uh, so before that, we have the message box that displays to just let us know if we want to run the code. I have another video that explains how to create these message boxes in more detail. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video as well. So that just prompts the user, so in case they accidentally select the button, the macro's not just gonna run accidentally. Uh, we then have another message box that comes up to prompt for the data model, adding the data to the data model. Uh, that is stored in this variable here, and it's used later on. So depending on whether the user chooses yes or no, we'll look at that. Uh, we also have a timer starting here to just start the time, because I like to calculate how much time it takes. And if you implement this, I'd love to know how much time it takes to run the macro on your workbook, and it's gonna depend on how many tables you have, uh, but put a, a comment below this video and let us know how long it takes you and how much time uh, that saves. One little side note there too, is that if you are uh, adding the data to the data model, it will take longer, probably about two to three seconds per uh, table. Uh, and that's just uh, power pivot, loading the data to power pivot is what takes time. That takes time whether you do it manually or with the macro, but all you have to do is sit there and wait. So it's not a big deal, it's just, just to note, it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, and then down here, the bulk of the code is going to loop through each sheet in the workbook and each list object or each table within each sheet. And I'm gonna set some uh, variables here for the formulas and then it's first going to check if the query exists. So if the query does exist, or if a query for the table already exists, the macro will not recreate a new connection for it. So it bypasses that. So if you run the macro again, it's not gonna create another nine uh, connections or however many you have. It's going to check for that first, uh, which is nice because if you're adding tables in the future, you can just rerun the macro again. And it's only going to create connections for those new tables. 
Uh, so that's what that section does there. And then uh, here, if it does not exist, uh, we add the query. Uh, so that's the uh, method for that, for adding the query, and add the connection to the query as well. And then we add the data to the data model if the user chooses yes to add the data to the data model. So if they choose no, uh, then it's just going to bypass. The if statement here will bypass this line of code and uh, then the loop will continue on for each list object and each sheet in the workbook. And then down at the end of the loop here, we have our timer to calculate the total runtime of the macro. And then a message box appears at the end, uh, letting us know how many connections. We also have a counter here to, to count the number of connections that were created. And then a message box at the end that lets us know how many co connections have been created and in how many seconds that took. So again, uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to know how many seconds this takes you. Now, what I've done with this uh, macro, this is currently, again, in this file here, this XLSM file that you can download in this file here. And you can add that to your personal macro workbook. Now, if you don't have your personal macro workbook set up yet, I do have a separate video that explains that. And again, I'll put a link in the description below to check that out. So definitely get your personal macro workbook set up. And then to import this, all you need to do is take this module here and drag it into your personal macro workbook. So here's my personal macro workbook here and all the modules in it. I'll just take this code module here, left click and hold, drag it up to my personal macro workbook, release that, and then it'll be here in my modules. I already had one, so it created a duplicate for me, but there it is within my personal macro workbook. And then back over in Excel, we'll jump back over to Excel. You can just customize a ribbon tab, so you can right click anywhere, customize the ribbon, and you can add a new ribbon. So I have a My Macros ribbon here with all my macros on it and different sections here. And you can just go in over here, choose macros. You'll see a list of all the macros in your personal macro workbook. Find the one we just added and click it and then add it over to your section. And I have a separate video that walks through this process as well. So I'll add a link to that uh, in the description below so you can check that out if you haven't set up your own macro ribbon yet. But once you do that, uh, then of course you'll have the macro here and you can run it on any workbook that you open up. So any workbook on your computer you open up that has tables in it that you wanna create these connections for, you just open the workbook, click the macro, it's going to run on this active workbook that you're looking at here and create all of those connections or add connections uh, to the workbook if there's already existing connections in it. Now, if you're not familiar with macros yet and VBA code and you want to learn how to write these yourself, we do have training on this step-by-step -step training in our Elevate Excel training program. And if you're not familiar with macros and VBA and how this fits in with Power Query and Power Pivot and Power BI and all these new tools in Excel, then we have a free webinar going on right now called the Modern Excel Blueprint, where I step through all of these new tools and processes and how these can fit into your workflow and save you a ton of time at your job. So I'll put a link to the uh, below to both of those items and you can check those out and get registered for our free webinar and learn how you can use these new tools in your job. So thanks again for watching. I hope this has helped. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.